All right, let's talk about payroll. So our system is agnostic to what payroll processor you use. I happen to have ADP on screen. I'm going to walk you through a little bit of what's available in ADP. That's what our robots and our API is integrated with. We can set up other processors with some lead time, but it's plug and play with ADP. So ADP is your payroll processor, just like any other generic off the shelf, open architecture payroll processor. You process payroll, you enter the data, gross compensation, and out the other end comes checks and or direct deposit to employees, contributions to state and fed. So what you would do in this case, in a production environment, is you would get your time cards like we normally do Monday, due by midday, you break them Monday night, Tuesday morning, and then you enter the data in from the time cards into the payroll processor. In this example, ADP. You go to payroll dashboard, you get a worksheet. This worksheet happens to be for IA and full crew. You key in regular time, OT, gold at 2X, gold at 2.5, meal penalties, mileage box, car, whatever else. You insert your employees, you key in their regular time, their overtime, their gold time, making sure that the total compensation, the regular earnings gets calculated for the employee that you inserted into the table. When you're done, you send it into an approval cycle. Once it gets approved, you then send it into a completion cycle where ADP at night will withdraw the funds overnight out of your operating payroll account, take those funds and distribute it to direct deposit, checks, or state and fed wherever it belongs. Typically, if we get it in by six, seven o'clock at night on a Tuesday, by Wednesday morning, we'll have checks on a desk. ADP has distribution points all over the country, depending on where you ask them to send checks, they're gonna send you either a stub in the case of direct deposits, or they're gonna send you a physical check in the case where you're printing a check for an employee. We also use the HR dashboard. The HR dashboard is where you see all the employees that have been onboarded from the FAST platform. The FAST platform allows whoever's doing the onboarding to key in the person's name, their phone number, the job, their start date, whether they're an individual or a loan app. Once that happens on our FAST platform, the API then reaches into the HR dashboard and initiates the process of adding that person to the active list of employees. When that's done, it gives the employee the ability to key in their address, their social security number, all the data points they need to be live within the show, just like you would fill out on a start card. They complete an I-9, a W-4. They might upload documents if you ask for it, meaning passports, social security card, driver's license, those kinds of things. And then you can have them also fill out and sign crew DMMO or whatever number of documents you're asking an employee to complete for you. So that's the process in the HR dashboard. It tells you what's going on in the current status of your new hires. It tells you, it typically does that here. It gives you a list of the people that are currently in what stage or what process, whether they're complete, still need a document. It's flexible. It allows you to go in and add documents. You can have the employee do it, or you can do it if you want. We have the employee do it. They're all adults. They enter in their information as far as their address, where they want documents sent. They enter in their banking details if they want those details to hit for their direct deposit. So that's the HR dashboard. So essentially ADP is the place where you process payroll. Once you're finished with that processing of payroll, we have to get this information out of ADP and into our accounting software. We do that with the GL interface. The GL interface gives us the ability to create the GL file. That file essentially exports all the payroll data that we need that can be used to interface with our accounting system as well as with our fringe engine. What it does in the fringe engine is it picks up our gross compensation, days worked, hours worked, all the whatever the whatever metric is used 
to make contributions to SAG, WGA, DGA, and then IA, that information is lifted out of your GL file and is used to generate the reports that get delivered to the guilds and unions. That begins inside ADP's GL module so that we then take that interface file, we create the GL file, we export it, and then we upload it into the places where it belongs. And that's pretty much it. It's all about processing payroll in the payroll dashboard, using the HR dashboard for onboarding, and then when we're finished, after we've processed payroll, we then want to go into the reports dashboard and then get our GL interface. All of this happens by ADP, no deposits, it's simple, it's flexible, it's not rigid, and it's built for you, designed around the process you're interested in executing for your crew, not somebody else's bottom line and not somebody else's process. It's your data, they're your employees, you control it. That's essentially it. This is an example of a client who we're currently working with in this system. It's up here, it's been blurred out just because I, we don't want that information out in the wild. I don't want it out on YouTube for people to see. But generally speaking, you're using a generic third party for processing your payroll, making sure that the contributions are made to the state and the Fed and the individual correctly. And that's done within ADP.